So how is the mountain snowpack right now in the Rockies? Well, it's melting away, but there's still a lot of snow up there, which uh, when we're talking July 4th, uh, that certainly wasn't the situation last year. Um, at many of the uh, snow pillows that Alberta Environment has, it melted out uh, anywhere from two to six weeks later than it did last year. And many of the glaciers have the upper elevations still covered of snow, but the lower elevations are starting to melt away now. Um, so uh, when this heat hits, there'll be plenty of snow for it to melt. We should see an increase in stream flow, uh, at least for uh, a short period of time. And then, of course, further downstream, it's getting used in many cases for irrigation, for drinking water supply. Now, the weather forecast for Edmonton and Jasper next week is supposed to be in the plus 30s. Is that encouraging for you or are you thinking, yes, that's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of water to add to the system, a lot more snow melt? Well, we have uh, flows starting to increase right now, and we'll see a tremendous increase in flows. The, uh, uh, both the Athabasca and the North Saskatchewan rivers have substantial uh, glaciers in their headwaters, which now have ice exposed, at least at the lower elevations of the glaciers, and that ice will start to melt, um, and it melts uh, more quickly than snow does because it's darker. So it absorbs more heat from the sun. And of course, now the soil moisture is filled up, the uh, wetlands and uh, subsurface water storages are filled. So this will generate substantial stream flow. Not flooding, but uh, very substantial, healthy, vigorous rivers for the next little bit. And uh, so we need to keep an eye on that for recreational activities, for sure.